Hello Aries, I'm a spiritual insight para and today I will do a reading for you for the upcoming two weeks. Let's see what the universe has in store Whew. for your cars are jumping like crazy. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery, number eight. Mandela spirits set healthy boundaries. Number three and thirty-first groundhog spirit. Time to let go. It's very interesting energies on play. I would say, and also on the back we have B generous spirit. Lion Spirit number 37. I'm feeling that some of you are waiting for something uh, to, to come up, uh, for something to appear in your life. Um, you might have also unanswered questions that you're thinking about. It also could be just life questions, simply like, what is my destiny? Why I'm here? Uh, why my heart is so confused in which direction to go? It could be a lot of confusion around this time. Let's see what Tower Cards has to say. Four of Swords reversed and Seven of Pen Seven of Cups reversed as well. Hmm. There are energies of some um, unhealthy uh, friendships, relationships, that you might need to self healthy boundaries with specific people. I know sometimes it's very hard to do that. But I'm seeing that these unhealthy connections stopping you from moving forward. The seven, pentacle, the seven of Cups reverse indicates like also illusions, delusions, uh, options, um, also things that uh, that are not serving us uh, in a good way, uh, but more but works more as a distraction in our lives so at this time you need to pause and a bit to reflect on what things in your life is not helping you but opposite stopping you from moving forward if they're talking about specific connections friendships or a specific relationship it might be time to move on Time to let go. It could also be unhealthy uh, patterns of love, for example, going from one partner to another partner and not be able to find a true love. But maybe uh, it's the reason that we are searching in the wrong places and maybe the current pleasures are more important than actually your true heart desires. Sometimes we can be delusional about what we want. But sooner or later in life, we understand, we find uh, the way out of those delusions. And our heart and soul truly shows what, what your desires, what your deep desires are. We also got one more card that jumped out. It's the fool. It also matches very nicely with the cards. Time to let go. It's time to move on. Uh, it's time to open a new chapter in your life. And to leave everything behind that is not serving you anymore. Also number 31. It feels that you might want to find this new path. Also to create it indoors. Um, also... also on reflecting on yourself, your values, beliefs, morals, 
but I'm seeing that leaving those unhealthy patterns in the past you're gonna start to build a strong foundation for yourself and uh, for your future have a queen of cups in the reverse position I'm strongly feeling that you are detached from your intuition, your gut feeling, from your heart desires, soul desires. I'm feeling a lot of superficial, maybe material, something, something at the current energy is a delusional, a not true, uh, and not matching your true values and what your heart desires. It's time to come back. It's time to to focus more on inwards. Maybe time alone, just walk in the park, being in the nature, can really help you to get out of those distractions and uh, find alignment with your own body, soul, and your heart. And you might gonna see. Uh, the path the future path more clearly where you want to go and what steps would you like to take next as well as lion spirit as be generous of spirit so really reflecting on your values on your morals on your on your two hard desires be generous with yourself it's time to release all this superficial uh, wall uh, that you maybe have built around yourself. It's time to. It's time to. It's time to focus inwards in your heart, in your soul. It's time to truly. Open yourself for new possibilities and new opportunities that will bl bring blessings and abundance in your life. But only in the way if you listen to your heart and your intuition and your gut feeling. Yeah, Knight of Wands reverse and the Ace of Cups. So if you're dealing with an unhealthy relationship, there is a sign that it might be very short-lived um, and you're going to move forward from that uh, relationship. You're going to leave that relationship behind and you start a new journey. You will accept uh, new opportunities. And be honest, I'm seeing like positivity around this new chapter. As the fourth source also indicates being burdened, being exhausted from uh, the present energies. If you've been stuck in the same cycle and around relationships, for example, I'm seeing that you're healing, you're starting to see everything from a different perspective. And you will find it to move on to a better place. Yeah, King of Swords. It's definitely time to cut some people, some general and healthy patterns from your life in order to be able to open your heart uh, and open f yourself fully to new opportunities and new possibilities. I said it's time to let go. It's time to self help your boundaries and believe that the blessings and abundance will come to you if you follow your heart and your soul desires. And with this reading, with this beautiful message, I would like to finish this reading. I would like to say thank you for being here with me and I hope to see you the next time. Blessings, spiritual, and Tara.